Soyez les bienvenus, chers téléspectateurs, pour cette nouvelle édition de l'interview. Nous recevons aujourd'hui une invitée anglophone que je vais donc vous présenter. Uh, Pommy Denver, welcome. You are director of the entrepreneurship program at the Tony Elomelo Foundation. Thank you for having us here. No, thank you to Africa 24 for supporting the Tony Elomelo Entrepreneurship Program in, in a fantastic way that you are doing. And thank you so much for coming to Lagos. To begin with, I will ask you to read the first question out loud, please. Okay. So the question is, how would you describe your program to a young African entrepreneur? So how would I describe this program to a young African entrepreneur is that it's such a phenomenal opportunity. Um, Africa's present and future and the past has depended on its entrepreneurs and its innovators, um, it's fantastic um, startups, yeah? And, 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 and today the opportunity is even bigger for African entrepreneurs to thrive and to grow. Why? Because Africa as a continent, there are 54 countries, very, very different demographically, yeah. size-wise, economically, um, but there is a fantastic opportunity and the opportunity is that this continent is growing. Every day I'm amazed when I read um, CVs of, of candidates, whether they're you know born in Nigeria and other parts of America, the you know the levels of high levels of education, yeah? and then finally it's the young demographic. You know, apparently the median age in Nigeria is um, in 19 to 20. I mean that is a dividend um, to be, uh, you know. It's a challenge, but it's also a phenomenal opportunity. So let's imagine that I'm, I'm a young entrepreneur, for example. I, uh, what do I do? I, I have to apply online, right? It's the only way to, to do it? So based, the, the application process is an online mm -hmm. application process. So you will come to our website, www.tonyelamilfoundation.org slash t. Mm -hmm. um, and when you arrive on our website, you can certainly read all the information there is. And what are the criteria of selection uh, of the, the people that send you the, their resumes, for example? So again, the criteria, the selection criteria is very clearly listed mm -hmm. on the application form. But what are we looking for? There are only five criteria that we will be assessing the applications mm -hmm. against. One is obviously the feasibility of the idea. Remember, um, this particular program is aimed at zero to three-year-old businesses. Yes. So if you're over three-year-old business, this program is not for you. We're also looking for your understanding of the market for your product or mm -hmm. service that, that you think you have, yeah? Um, we're also looking in, the, in terms of the criteria, your financial understanding, yeah? Mm -hmm. it's, um, we're not looking for the, the complex, but really the basics of, you know, what does it take to, to financially manage a business, yeah? Um, we're also looking to find out whether you have entrepreneurial and leadership skills. Yeah? Okay. And that may be, um, and that can be demonstrated if you're only applying with an idea, mm -hmm. but you, you know, you will have some experience having worked in other sectors okay. or having either been, um, having worked in a, as, a, as an employee, or maybe that you've, you know, set up you know, people start setting up businesses when they're at school and colleges yes, and universities exactly. now, yeah? And all of those experiences count okay. towards the, uh, the um, selection criteria. Mm -hmm. What we also want to see is that we're planting the seeds for the start of a pan-African trade as well, yeah? Yes. So these entrepreneurs really begin to network and, and mm -hmm. connect with each other. So if I have a business in, in, I don't know, Rwanda, I can imagine that I can do business with another on, you know, I, I can, that my business has the potential to cross borders mm. and the potential to scale up within Africa, but, but of course, beyond um, the African subcontinent. That's what the continent is missing, actually, trades between the, the, the countries. Yeah, and you look at how successfully um, the Pan-Arab mm -hmm. um, region has be become, right? It's, be it's become strong, partly because they just have one language, but they are also a very strong inter-Arab trade, right? And I look to the Indian subcontinent in China and Asia, you look at the trade block that's emerging in Asia. Europe is the oldest mm -hmm. trade block, yeah? So if they can do it, Africa, the 54 countries in Africa, um, you know, you can't ignore one billion population. Yes. Um, whatever percentage of that, a high percentage of that, 
is a consumer mm. for your good, for your products or for your services. Next question, please. The question is, how are you planning to train those young entrepreneurs? How are you planning to, to train them in 12 weeks? Do you think 12 weeks is enough? I don't think we should look at just 12 weeks. We mm. should look at this program holistically. Mm -hmm. And it's designed as a holistic program. And I will take you through it. I believe um, entrepreneurship is teachable and learnable, right? Mm. And that's speaking as someone who's been an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. You're constantly, the best way to be, to learn is by doing, yeah? So if you have an idea and you have a passion, the fire in your belly to really make it happen, you will go through the through that the learning curve. So the 12 weeks is really a 12 modules and they're going to be um, designed in a way, that, in the way that they are very practical. Mm -hmm. They are practical tools. So that they're not about people sitting in front of the computer and answering multiple choice questions or writing essays. It is about saying, okay, so the first module mm -hmm. is understanding the, you know, the, the, the feasibility of my idea. Mm -hmm. yeah? And so you're really um, digging deep into, you know, the, the module will be designed mm -hmm. um, in a way that you are asking yourself some fundamental questions mm -hmm. about your idea. And so we will then go through right to the end in 12 weeks in, in terms of developing and growing or building a business plan, which for me is really not a business plan that you put on the shelf. So you, with your mentor and the content that we are creating, and we're creating Africa-centric content, so the idea is, yes, a business plan mm -hmm. is kind of universal, yeah? it's like a film, you know, there are some films that have universal stories, but a business plan, the components of a business plan is, is exactly the same. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What makes the difference is the context in which you're setting up that business. The African reality of doing business, building businesses in Africa are very different to doing it in Paris or doing it in, in the UK. So we want to make sure that our content really reflects um, what is the real, you know, the real realities of power cuts, yeah, yes. of intermittent internet access. And the ideas, the purpose behind this, you know, our higher purpose is to contribute, is to create new jobs. And we've already set ourselves the target of creating at least one million jobs over the next decade. In, across Africa, right? So it's job creation. The other fundamentally important um, um, target for us, or the, the purpose for us, is to contribute um, $10 billion to the African economy. Mm -hmm. So job creation, wealth creation, which will have a social impact, is, is the higher purpose of this program. Yeah? We will then bring them together, all thousand of them, in one location. The first one will be Lagos, right? At the what forum. A, no, no? a two-day boot camp. Oh, okay. And the boot camp is an expression mm -hmm. that you know we've all heard, you know, yes. from programs all over. You know, most of those boot camps consist of maybe a hundred, two hundred people. Mm -hmm. This will be a thousand Africans, French speaking, mm -hmm. Portuguese speaking, and English speaking. I mean, that in itself is. I mean, that's what excites me so much. Mm -hmm. Is like imagine a thousand startups, entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. right, gathered just talking and buzzing um, with ideas that they've got. Mm -hmm. And you know, the hope and the, and the, well just the energy that they've got, you know, they really believe they have ideas that will really transform Africa, mm -hmm. yeah? And at the end of those two days of the boot camp, um, those thousand will be invited to our Tony Elamalu Entrepreneurship Forum. So it's the Elamalu Entrepreneurship Forum. And our aim is to really establish it as the destination forum for anything and everything to do with African entrepreneurship. And our thousand entrepreneurs will be invited to sit and listen and to share their own, you know, some, um, some of the, and showcase mm -hmm. some of their own stories. Then they will be presented with the, uh, the first stage of funding, which is a non-returnable seed capital of $5,000. Mm -hmm. So all the entrepreneurs will be provided that capital with which now they can take their idea work with their mentors and develop that business plan. They are still part of the program and, and they will remain part of the program until November um, when they graduate mm -hmm. and become teak fellows, fellows, yeah? So they become part of the alumni network. And the idea is they then become the next round of mentors, right? They become the ambassadors for the program. 
We're not abandoning people after the first round of funding, so they remain part of the community. And we are, you know, we have made available second stage funding, mm -hmm. which will be structured as equity or as a loan, um, but uh, you know, a, an affordable loan, mm -hmm. um, which would, which will be optional to those entrepreneurs mm -hmm. uh, yes. from investors. You're saying it's because you want to encourage them. I know. I want them to understand what it is to how. I want them to understand the mindset of an investor. But they will. Have and I to. want them to understand what it is that they have to do, and mm -hmm. in in order, what do they have to do to prepare themselves to be able to go to you as a banker or go to you as the private mm -hmm. equity and say, I I will go. You know, I'm looking for a loan or I'm looking for an equity. Mm -hmm. Secondly, it also um, says that you know. Entrepreneurs don't need grant, they mm -hmm. don't need aid, right? They need mm -hmm. investment, they need mentoring, they need all of the things that we're providing. Um, and, but they also must be disciplined. That money that you take from someone, you have to also return it. This is the last question, the joker question. Uh, joker question. You, you, you chose to exclude some sectors. Why? Which sectors did we choose to exclude? Don't you remember? No. Research institutions, for example. Yeah, okay, you know, I mean, you know, it's like we, we've also chosen to exclude faith-based organizations. Or religious institutions. Religious institutions. Why? Um, because, um, because I think you have to define, you know, we can't do everything, right? Mm -hmm. I think there's a large enough faith, you know, faith-based communities or um, followers of particular faiths, right? Um, they have enough resources of their own, mm -hmm. and they can build their own institutions. Yeah, we're not building institutions; we're building businesses. Thank you, Parmi the Beer. <laughs> that was a pleasure meeting you. Pleasure. Meeting you. Good luck with the, this program. Thank you. Thank you so much, Africa Twenty. Et merci à vous, chers téléspectateurs. C'était donc l'interview d'Africa 24. À bientôt.